had my fence take a look at Lord Julian's medallion. Perry says the crest belongs to the Rutherfords, one of the oldest so-called great families with a castle in South Quarter and a street named after them. They've got a lot of wealth and a nasty reputation for turning on each other. Based on that conversation I overheard, Julian is definitely carrying on the family tradition. Lord Ember, Julian's cousin, currently resides in the castle, and Julian wants revenge. Julian had a good plan. Hide inside a supply cart and ride in after dark, then signal the cook to open the side door by putting out the lion's head torch in the courtyard. A good enough plan for me to use myself. That bloodline opal sounds valuable, and it's better off with me than sitting around in their vault. But I can't get lazy. Ember will have his personal guard, and doubtless a few other family tricks in store for anyone who comes after the opal. End of the Bloodline Objectives Break into the Rutherford Castle Find a clue about how to locate and open the vault Steal the Bloodline Opal from the vault When all your other objectives are complete, leave the castle grounds the same way you came in the front gate. Note, the cookie's waiting for this signal. Put out the line head torch and he'll open the side entrance located above the torch on the castle ramparts. Hey everyone! Alright, welcome back to some more Let's Play Thief Deadly Shadows. We've seen what the objective is. Garrett has summarized what we learned in the last episode rather well. We are here to steal that bloodline opal. It sounds quite expensive. And it sounds like our fence has a buyer for it already. Let's go ahead and double check the difficulty. It is indeed on hard. Perfect. We'll also need to find 60% of the loot in this mission. And two of the special loot items. And as you can see, here is the enemy's capabilities. Remember again that I have increased them slightly so they'll be better than what it lists here. And here's our starting gear. Our dagger. Our blackjack. 25 water arrows. 20 broadhead arrows, 5 noisemakers, 1 health potion, and 8 flash bombs. That's a nice surprise. Alright, guys. Let's go ahead. Oh, and look at the map as well. Here's where we're starting. Right outside the front gate, having just taken a cart inside, as it were. The basement's where the vault is located, but we'll need to. It sounds like it's closed, so we'll need to look around for a way to open it somehow. Lord Ember's Chambers is on the second floor. There's an inner courtyard, and it looks like there's some sort of bedroom up a spiral staircase here. This seems to indicate there must be some sort of mechanical elevator on that side of the courtyard. Alright. Let's do it. There's the torch. Now to give the signal. Quiet tonight. It's the rain earlier. Everyone's gone in. Black as pitch out here. They doubled the watch. This castle's as old as South Quarter. See the way the stone is? Pulled off an army. Probably has. You really think so? And who knows? It's an old part of town. Streets are all different here. Not like Aldale or Stone Market. 
Ah, what do you know about it? I could have been in the city watch. I knew it that well. I could find my way around blind. <sighs> Bet you've seen things. You wouldn't believe it. Saw a rat once as big as a dog. I saw a man, dead in the street, without his skin. Come on, who'd take somebody's skin? Could be... Nah, I won't say it. Nobody knows the whole city. How old it is, how many times it's been built over. Not the Hammerites, nobody. that Brazier. I want to make sure I can get up to the ramparts. Chill out here tonight. Wish I'd worn the other uniform. Lord Julian was pretty angry. You see his face when he walked out? I wasn't there. Julian's the better man. Oh, don't speak of it. You're a sworn man, fool. I don't like this. They'll settle it, you'll see. A marriage or a treaty or a, a dancing party. Whatever the noble folk have. What did they quarrel over? I'm gonna bet. Something about their hawks, I think. I like a good bear baiting myself. <laughs> it is a fine thing. I guess bear baiting must be what it was in Thief 1 when bears would fight each other in a arena. I guess that used to be how some lords would resolve their quarrels. As you can see, the guards carry light sources now occasionally. Doesn't ha doesn't light up too much around them, but it's enough to make it dangerous. You can't rely on hiding in shadows very close to guards who carry such. It's out. I hope that cook is as good as his word. Someone said that there were ghosts around here. I gotta relax. I've been working too hard. Evening. Ah, uh, hush up. wasn't even waiting at the door. I bet you that's what opens and shuts it. Yep. All guards take note. A poor cutlass has been installed in the basement in front of the Rutherford Vault as added protection for the Bloodline Opal. Lord Ember has the ability to open the Percutlas. Lord Ember expects his cousin Julian to try for the gem soon. Be on watch for anything suspicious. Captain Williams. The vault is protected by a Percutlas. Search Lord Ember's chambers to figure out how to open the Percutlas. Like Dishonored, there are rats. Evening. <laughs> there are rats present in the places we will visit. If you step on a rat, it will squeak loudly and run around making noise. Potentially alerting the guards to where you are. You'll often see me try killing rats to stop that from happening. A 
in this game, it's the doors that make quite a bit of sound opening and shutting them, and will tend to waken people sleeping in the rooms that have shut doors in them. Holy crap, Garrett, please get this lock. someone's put out the lights. All quiet. Whatever. Ah, there was nothing. I shouldn't have bothered. The guard there is a little tired and or drunk. His perception won't be as high as other guards. He, unlike drunk guards from the first two games, will investigate issues that he sees. Walking in front of him, he might not react quickly, but he will react to us. So we don't want to go that way. react to sounds that you make. Once again, they will react to loot that they notice is missing too. If this guard turns around and notices those candlesticks aren't on that shelf, he'll say something and walk up to investigate. Benwick. Ill news from the city. The medallion's missing. If Julian cries treason, of course. If Julian tr cries treason, of course. Which one of the cousins could have done it? Nestor, P.S. If it's you, tell me, and I am with you. It was cleverly done. That's the ramparts up there. There was another way in. We didn't have to put out the torch if we didn't want to. It's good to know, because this means there's another way out, also. We can avoid the barracks next time. Cousin. Ember's efforts to protect the opal go beyond reasoning. He's installed a new portcutlass in the cellar, in front of the vault door. As with the mechanism that controls it, my men have searched everywhere with no results. Everywhere but Lord Ember's own chambers, that is. If you find out anything, let me know. Ember readies himself for Julian's return. He keeps his Rutherford medallion always nearby, and it's not just because of its value in gold. Lazy Lady Elizabeth must have sensed what is coming. I'm sure you've noticed her absence as well. As for us, we must play to whomever is the victor. Our time will come. Above all, beware. Cousin C. A 
on, noise. goes up the other stairs, we will go up the ones here. But I need this guard to turn. Not this again. Huh? What's that I see? He's playing tricks. Just tired, I guess. We can mantle this crate and get up over the railing. feels a little stuffy. Hope I don't have the sniffles. It wouldn't do to have the flu with all this work in front of me. <laughs> Nestor, I've had the sergeant at arms sacked again. The gilded helm you won at the summer's day tourney has gone missing. Did Julian take it? It's worth quite a bit. Sentimental value aside. Bertram. You will find hints as to where the incredible loot items are. We've now read two. There's a gilded helm somewhere here. And there is the Rutherford medallion that Lord Ember keeps in his room. It's better to take it if I'm not going back through that area.
painting, you can see the glint sparkle. Master Arlick. Outside the room on the far side will be up against the wall on the other side of that table. The tower rooftops remind me of wizards' caps for some reason. What are you looking at? Ice front. <laughs> Left there. Sounds like Lord Ember is doing the rounds and talking to some of his guards. You can zoom in via Garrett's mechanical eye. There are no scouting orbs, though, unfortunately, in this game. But you'll see me zoom in briefly when I'm looking for loot to see if it's sparking, and nothing there is. The zoom in originally had a overlay to it where things were a brown shade. And there was static as well as that sound effect. I Double shifts, remember, everyone. Very good, sir. I've disabled that. What's all 
all this rumpa? Ha! Someone hiding over there? I say, what was that noise? Just a noise. Well, I guess I could have been wrong. Aha! I'm going to get help. That sort of a state. Milady Elizabeth is a proper lady. She attended Lady Pollock's school for young ladies, and You're she can write in both ancient Brillian and modern Prinkish. Hmm. Well, I guess that's something. Your Lord Ember's knowledge of the world is limited to the names of his ancestors and equine diseases of the mouth. I don't like the way she looks at me. Like I've been sneaking about or something. Well, you are a bit unkempt. It's them stairs. She has me up there five times a night, changing the torches. Oh, indeed. I shall inform Milady of your displeasure. Don't you dare. Oh, poor little varmints. Seem almost terrified. key on his belt and he turned around and due to the higher perceptiveness of the AI it totally saw me that he's guarding but I'd like to see what's up in this bedroom since we don't have a scouting orb though it's difficult for me to tell if I should round a corner if he's staring at the entrance Leaning around corners increases your visibility in this one ever so slightly, but it's enough that a guard will notice you looking around the corner. Ah, uh, torches, undependable things. I want to get on the other side of him. He'll be one of the three guards that will knock out. Sounded almost like... Well, I guess I didn't hear anything after all. within blackjack blackjack distance and will in fact be knocked out
first, uh, sorry, second game, possibly the first, so I never tried it in the first. You cannot use the, you cannot use a flashbang to put the guard in a state where he can be blackjacked. If you blackjack a guard who's flashbanged, or flashbombed, he will just recover immediately from the flash bomb in this one. Dearest L Lizzie, am I so call you that? I remember it from when you were just a child. I'm writing to see if you know of any tincture to help our poor afflicted Clive. He's wasting away, barely speaking or moving, staring at a piece of treasure from his last excursion. The doctors are of no help. I fear the worst. Little as I wish to, I must beg of your help. If not for yourself, do it for Lord Ember. Clive's dear friend, and dare I say your betrothed? Or for the memory of your dear member, mother, whom I do remember fondly. Yours, Lady Eleanor Warwick. Poor girl. Cursed items are never fun. It sounds like something is bewitching her husband and making him rot away. sounds like he's doing is staring at the treasure, not eating, drinking, possibly even sleeping. The Gilded Helm. This must be Lizzie's room. Lady Elizabeth's Journal, page 52. This house is not safe for me. My spy tells me Julian is planning a bloody return. I spend my evenings in the city to avoid this, but I still go armed and night. I go armed day and night with blade and venom. If necessary, I can flee at a moment's notice with the little treasure I've acquired from the armory. Until then, I have this sham marriage to make with a sham husband. I care not which of them it is now. The arsenic will do for either. Ember touched me again today. Just on the hand. It was horrible. Interesting letter from Lady Warwick. Ember's suffering must be exquisite. Watching his only friends only waste away to nothing. Better than any poison I could deliver. Lady Elizabeth does not sound very faithful or caring to Ember, and doesn't care if Julian wins or kill either of them, potentially to get the opal that we have just gotten. i uh, gotten. We haven't gotten it yet that we're here for. Personal stores. Arsenic. Sufficient. Atropine. Sufficient. Belladonna. Gone stale. Cyanide, sufficient. Hemlock, running low. Jimson weed, require new source. Poisons. Better make sure I wash my hands when I get out of here. someone, let alone killing someone, it looks extraordinarily painful. I wonder if it actually works, if you can give someone a concussion. By knocking them out in such a fashion. Oh god, I just want him to be on the bed. 
Pardon me always has thought that the blackjack wouldn't actually knock anyone out. It would just be extraordinarily painful. And it might cause a person to fall, but they'd still be conscious. What's going on? Unlike Dishonored, the thieves here will be on high alert, higher alert, and but they won't be able to tell that because they sheath their weapons again. In Dishonored, I remember that they would leave them out the moment they became aware of you. Lord Ember's journal. The opal is what's important. Julian will stop at nothing to take it from me, and I cannot become complacent. Even if he subverts the guards, they cannot get by the new poor cutlass. I alone control the switch, here by my desk, where I am safe. This castle is rotten with conspiracy. Were it not for dear Elizabeth, I am sure I would lose my mind. Even the portrait of Mortimer the Mad stares down at me from the stairwell balcony as if to name me unworthy of the opal. Those eyes! Surely Arlick was the greatest of the old masters. I ought to guard it more carefully. It's worth more than the other paintings combined. All of them combined, in fact. So quiet here tonight. Since Lord Warwick died, there's no one left to talk to. My only friend. Why did you waste away staring at that abominable cursed stone? I'm certain there was some witchery involved. I hear they donated it to the Wildstrom Museum, and good riddance. Oh, he's dead already. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ember could usually be seen patrolling his room. Perhaps scaring him away was a very good thing. Another medallion. Wonder if anyone will pay more for a matched set. The lever by my desk where I am safe. For the record, I like both of the lockpicking mechanics in this game. 
or rather, the Thief series from the three that I've played, the original two, and this one. I think they're, they've all got little bits that I liked about them. You still panic quite a bit in the first game's lock picking, trying to make sure you have the right pick. And knowing it's going to take time, and praying the lock isn't like a three-stage lock. In this game, even a small lock might take you a while to get through. I drop down here because it is my belief that Lord Ember's probably hanging around that guard that was uh, wall crawled past. I'm oh, sorry, no, we didn't wall crawl, crawl past him. That we distracted by dropping the... Jenny was up all night sewing the new uniforms for Lord Ember. Hands all bloody this morning. And Julian will change them right back when he returns, you mark me. You think he'll come back? I never said that. I never said it either. Cook's journal. My errand in the city is done, but it's for nothing. Julian's medallion has been stolen. If Julian's a fool and comes now, I'll still open the side entrance for him, but I'll fear the outcome. He'll try to take Ember's medallion, and there'll be blood for sure. If Julian had treated me better, I'd have told him about the Nupra Cutlass protecting the vault and the switch that opens it in Lord Ember's chamber. But I cannot carry on this farce of serving two masters. One way or another, the two dogs are going to fight this out. The scared poodle or the whipped cur. I only hope my part in this is never discovered. If it is, I'll say I never told Julian about the Procutlas. Maybe that'll be enough. Cook's not very smart, is he? this. Ah! I ought to let them know what's happening here. I should have taken the position at the old Warwick estate. Now that's a place, that is. You can take some pride in your work there. <coughs> have a nice night. It was here last time I checked. I wish they'd leave the lights on for me. The arrow 
towers, as you can see, do not arc as much as they used to in the first two Thief games. she ran to to get help, but it wasn't thankfully near the guard just outside the room. to go in the direction that guard's going in, but I think he's the same one we saw patrol kind of near us when we were lockpicking the door that led to where the two girls were talking, which means he's going to wander back this way. While he's doing that, we're not doing so well at the not being seen part of this. I should probably... I should probably uh, watch a little more Monty Python's Flying Circus. I think they have a guide about how not to be seen. I don't know if I mentioned it, but in this game, the supplies that you don't use are kept between missions. There is a significantly less there is significantly less variation, variety, in the items that you will be able to acquire in this game compared to others, but you don't lose them between missions. This is useful because it means the money that you spend also, well, by the way, the money that you acquire is also not lost between missions. You only lose what you spend. The game has a different feel thanks to this. Oh, what made that go out? <sighs> we'll wait here for the guard with the torch to walk back. Yeah, on the off chance that there was someone else who is alerted to our presence potentially give him time to go back on his normal patrol and give me time to know where that guard with the torch is so I know that I don't walk right in front of him. <sighs> My brief recollection of this game when it comes to melee combat, something I've only done I think once, is that it is not in your favor at all. It's nowhere near as complex as it was for the first two thieves. <sighs> it just involves you trying to not be in front of the guard when he swings his weapon at you. There's no leathers cracking. Useless. Cost a fortune, too. There's no parrying attacks or anything of that sort in this one.
The Rutherford Family Vault. That opal is as good as mine. So this is what they all wanted. Well, it's better off with me. Apparently not a very good shot with this bow compared to others. I do prefer the bows in the first two games. Uh -uh. also fly quite a bit faster than they had in the first two games. stop, start walking again, and two seconds after he starts walking again, then we'll go up these stairs. I like the changes to the equipment in this game in particular, because it changes how you view your equipment. In the first game, it was use it or lose it, so you were a little more free about what you wanted to spend your money on, sorry, your, when you wanted to use your equipment. Here, I find myself not really wanting to use it as frequently. Because I know I can hold on to it for the next mission. hear us go for that chest, so... <laughs> what items are in this game? Flash bombs? Healing potions? Holy water, oil flasks, mines. I can't think of anything else. We're right at the entrance. I'm, a, I'm going to be saving the game before we exit these missions, just because I. this is how I reload the game to get us into the next uh, intro cutscene. 
The bloodline opal's mine now, and based on the size of this thing, I'd say it was worth it. But something tells me this Lady Elizabeth character had her own plans for the Rutherfords. I'd better get the opal to Perry soon. He can cut it into smaller stones that are easier to move. And we'll both make a tidy profit. Nice. Very nice. Not a word, Bruno, as to how many times I got seen. <laughs> how many times? How many times was that? How many times were we, did we cause people to run and get help? Three? It was just three. It's just three. That's phenomenal for me, right? That's phenomenal for me. I, I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Thankfully, it didn't involve them running around and getting guards. It looks like they didn't find anybody. Or maybe they weren't too sure what they saw, so they ran back to make doubly sure that I was there. Just the one... It was actually it was four people who saw us, right? Because it was Lord Ember and the guard out there got alerted, and I think he actually saw us too. Then there was the cook and the girl in the dining room. But it all worked out in the end. It all worked out. We let him know that we were we were there. It had to be us, Garrett Master Thief. And, it, and it, it'll be good, because it'll play into a certain event which transpires in the next episode, right? See, it all makes sense. I did it, I did it on purpose. I did it on purpose. We got most of the loot. 91%. That would have been enough that we could have completed this requirement on experts, too. But... Uh, well, I'm. We're gonna play these on hard, not expert, because of the loot requirement. So, uh, if it had been seventy percent loot on expert, everything else is the same. I'd play on expert, but because it's ninety percent loot, that's a little too much loot. I don't want to have to pause the game, go pull up a loot map, and consult it to, to see where everything is. So, we're gonna go with this instead. Got caught three times. Oh, that's good. Not four times. See, only three. One less time than I thought. That's even better. We're doing even better than I thought we were doing. Two blackjacks, or two opponents blackjacked. No one killed. No stealthy killed. No com non combatants killed. That's interesting that it keeps track of how awful you are. Nine locks picked. No pockets picked, but no one had anything on, on there. Well, we did. No, we did. We had Lord Ember's key on his belt. We didn't pick it. No one discovered the bodies. We didn't take any damage. We didn't have to heal. We played for an hour and seven minutes. We got caught three times. Blackjacked six people. Why is it now six? I, I don't understand why it counted four blackjacks for the first mission. That seems really weird. We knocked out two. I still don't understand why it says six there. All right, well, let's stop here. Thank you guys for watching. And I will hopefully see you all in the next one, where we'll be exploring the hub for a bit. See you guys then. Take care, everyone.